Hello everyone, welcome to another video, it's Francesco here. In this video I'm going to be doing the March favourites, which is basically a roundup of the top apps, uh, YouTube channels and also experiments and other things that I think you guys might enjoy. So let's start with applications to kick things off. The first application that I would recommend is Medium. Now, a lot of you guys already know Medium and are following some of the other publications that I put out regularly anyway, but what I wanted to do is point you towards the app. Now, after a few weeks of using it, I've actually been enjoying the experience. The sort of content creation side of it, the homepage, the new series tab, and a couple of other the items inside the application are pretty impressive. Now I've recently moved to a pro account um, in order to get the new reading offline feature and also the new homepage mode on web, which is quite a good experience so far. So in terms of new applications that I've been checking out, checking out a couple, Sorted is one of the applications that I'm keeping a strong eye on because of its chronological ordering of tasks, which is quite a cool way to organize your day. Now it promotes itself as more of a day planner, so it's a gesture based application that allows you to organise all of your tasks based on time and also lists as well. Some of you guys have been emailing me after seeing a couple of my Bear videos which I've been putting out quite regularly now because Bear is starting to tweak a few things inside there um, and asking me whether I've moved completely from Evernote to Bear. Now that's not the case, um, I'm only using Bear at the moment for scripts um, and short term notes. Now these notes will only be like just in sort of passing and I do like the experience for viewing the notes, especially on iOS and Mac. Now I have all of my regular stuff on Evernote, everything from invoices to uh, documents or information like that. So everything is there and that, that remains my base to today. Finally on apps, I've also been checking out Box Notes, which is a new note taking service. It's sort of new to the scene. It's available on Mac and Windows, only on desktop at the moment, but it's trying to be the sort of meeting notes application that a lot of other applications haven't been able to pull off yet. Now it's free at the moment. Uh, I'll have my review by the time I put this video out. So check it out in the description below uh, because I'm sure it will give you some early thoughts on this new application for note taking. Now guys, in case you missed it, I've been doing some collabs. So recently I did a video with Anna from Onotes and I did a feature on how to use notebooks and applications together. So I'm gonna include that in the description. For Fury Pixel, Anders allowed me to come on the show and share why I enjoy using the MacBook Air with a couple of applications. So again, that will be in the description below. Now, in terms of YouTubers, I wanted to share a few that I have been enjoying over the last month. One to start off with would be Thomas Frank. Now, I found Thomas Frank quite a while ago. He puts out college videos to help you improve on certain areas of the study or revision techniques. Now, he's got over 100,000 subscribers and he puts out regular videos that are really insightful. So it's definitely worth checking him out if you're a student or someone who's looking to improve certain routines across their day. If you haven't checked out Michelle B yet, she does videos on everything about uh, meditation, mindfulness, and also minimalism too. But she also covers techniques, productivity techniques, and just uh, general life techniques, which is brilliant. Her channel, again, is a big channel as well, but she does really fantastic videos, high quality, uh, and she puts them out quite regularly, about two per week. So definitely worth checking her out as well. Another channel that I discovered this month was from Bearded Fat Loss, which is a channel covering weight loss, um, talking about certain routines that he's done with weights and techniques uh, in terms of fat loss. And it's quite an impressive account. He also documented his morning routine, which I found very helpful. So I will include that in the description below. The morning routine video is something that I really enjoyed, a great bit of cinematic work from him. And finally, another YouTuber that covers more of the minimalism side, the Lin C, who I actually will be doing a collab video soon with her uh, is putting out regular videos about uh, minimalism and how to maximize your workspace. I find these videos very useful um, so I'll include a couple of those in the description for you guys to go and check out. So last time in my experiment section I talked about meditation now I am going to be documenting this experience for the last four months that I've been doing. I'm going to put it out in an article on Thrive Global um, on Medium so go and check that out below if it's available before. If not I'll put my Medium, Medium account there for when it's published. But that will document some of the experiences that I've had so far, some of the mistakes I've made and some of the things I've sort of 
buffered out as I learn about that sort of area. And one final experiment, I am going to be trying it to do this native integration with Google Calendar. This is something that I've been wanting to try out for a while, ever since the CEO tweeted out, um, and I'm going to be checking that out. Uh, a lot of people have been messaging me saying the integration is something very uh, cool, so I want to be checking that out. It's two-way native integration, so it should be very, very exciting. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this March roundup. Let me know in the comments uh, whether you've discovered anything this month, apps, books, anything like that. I'd really, really love to hear. Anyway, guys, make sure you have a great week. Keep productive, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Cheers. <laughs>